Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to create a flower. In this video you will learn the chain stitch, slip stitch and double treble crochet. In this video I am using Stylecraft Special DK in the colour pomegranate, a 4mm crochet hook, scissors and darning needles to sew in your end. We're going to start by making a slip knot. If you don't know how to do so, you can always check out my beginner video. I'll just show you a quick version now. Take the tail end and put it at the front. Hold it with your index finger. Cross it over like that, making sure the short end is always at the top. Put your finger over the cross with a loop over the long end. Holding both ends, pull it through. I'll show you it again. Take the tail and put it at the front. Cross it over, making sure this is always at the top. Cross it, so it's like that. Hold it and pull. Now you have an adjusting loop. If you put your finger in it, you can make it bigger or smaller by tugging on the longer end. Adjust it to make it to make sure it fits your hook size. Okay, so now I'm going to insert my hook into the loop and pull on to the end and put my thumb on the hook, wrap the yarn around your pinky finger and around this finger, hold the work with your middle finger and thumb like that. Now we're going to start chaining. We're going to chain 8, so wrap the yarn right to left and go through the loop. Wrap the yarn again and go through the loop. That's two. Wrap the yarn again, go through the loop. Three, the yarn, four, five. And continue this until you've reached eight stitches. Okay guys, so I've chained my eight stitches and now we're gonna do a slip stitch. So we insert into the first stitch we chained, which is, this one. If you don't know which one you started with, you can just count down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My first stitch was a little tight, so it might be hard to get in there. But if I just tug on it a bit, there, I'm in it. Now we're going to yarn over through the loop. And then we're going to go through the loop again. That is the slip stitch. Now we're going to start with the real pattern. We're going to chain three. So one, two, three. And we're going to start by doing the trebles, double trebles. So yarn over once, yarn over twice, insert into the loop. Make sure that your tail end is sticking with the loop because at the end if you have a massive loop you can just tug on it and it'll create the loop smaller so we've got our yarn two yarns over insert in the hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops you're gonna do that again yarn over twice insert into the loop Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That is two stitches. It looks like that we've done three stitches, but the chain three does not class as a stitch. So we're going to do it once more. Yarn over twice, insert in the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through another two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we've created our first petal. It doesn't look like much of a petal. So what we do now is we chain two. One, two. And we do a slip stitch. So insert, yarn over, and do that. We're going to chain three again. So one, two, three and create another petal. I'll meet you guys back once you've created your next petal. 
if you need the instructions again you can always rewatch the first one okay so i finished the second petal did a slip stitch and chain three and now we're going to do four more petals and i'll meet you back on the sixth one okay guys so i've done my five petals i've done my six and i've chained two i also cut off um like a big tail end and what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna do a slip stitch into here like that as you can see pull it, the hook out to get Then the tail end that we had at the back that we had been sewing in, we're gonna just tuck that tight and we have our flower. Now, you can, as I left the wrong end, you can just sew it with a darning needle or you can leave them like this. So, if you want to hang it somewhere, I actually want to hang mine, so I'm keeping my long end like this. But as I said, you can just sew yours in and this is the finished flower i hope you guys like this video please like share and subscribe if you have any questions or queries please tell me in the comments below i'll see you next time for more crochet bye